Hi, my name is Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Um, today we're going to talk about the recently um, published symptom checklist by the Celiac Disease Foundation. The Celiac Disease Foundation, one of the leading organizations for advocacy for education and uh, support for patients with celiac disease, has just uh, posted on their website a celiac disease symptom checklist. This is a comprehensive list of symptoms or scenarios that are associated with a risk for celiac disease. And it's really meant as a reminder to patients or a way of actually eliciting symptoms from people who think they might have celiac disease. So by going through this checklist, it asks you specific questions. For example, do you have a family history of celiac disease? Do you have changes in your bowel motions that might be suggestive of malabsorption, which can be caused by celiac disease? And many other such questions. Who is this useful for? And what use is it? Well, I would think it's useful for anybody who thinks that celiac disease might be a possibility, either because they have a family history, maybe they don't feel great and they have heard about celiac disease. This is a way of taking you through um, all of the common and not so common associations of celiac disease. It does start out very, uh, at the very important, very importantly, the very beginning. It tells you that this is a symptom checklist. This is not an aid to self-diagnosis. And indeed, many of the symptoms that are listed are common in conditions that are not celiac disease or even not associated with celiac disease. But it's a very good way of going through a list, of being led through a series of questions that once you have answered them then you can receive your answers back in detail and that can help you then when you talk to your physician about being tested for celiac and say, well look, these are the symptoms that I've experienced and could these be associated with celiac disease? I think of this as a very helpful tool um, to collect all of those symptoms in one place. So who should use this? Well, virtually anybody who thinks they might have celiac disease, or if you're, for example, if you have um, a family history of celiac disease, um, if you're even thinking that maybe I should go gluten-free for whatever reason, it's a really good idea to take this symptom checklist first and then share that with your doctor before you change your diet. So, yes, I think this is very useful. Um, it also links to the Celiac Disease Foundation's um, website as well as to their directory of um, healthcare practitioners who've indicated interest in managing patients with celiac disease around the country.